Here's a video that a fellow YouTuber actually requested. Um, he's going to be remodeling a home and uh, wanted to know how you would put together a shed roof like this or a double shed roof, which is going to have a lower shed roof and an upper one. Really, this is not very difficult of a building to do. You're basically going to have a wall that's going to be a little smaller, a wall that's a little taller, and then of course the tallest wall um, here. And hopefully you get an idea. Rafter blocks, um, fire blocks. And I uh, drew in two different types of blocks. This is a block here that would look nice or work well uh, being painted or finished on the outside, but uh, engineers might want to have a different type of block, so I drew that one in on the other side. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, the upper block would look like this. It'd be nice to have it shaped if possible so that it, it can uh, be nailed. You'll be uh, perimeter nailing it. And this block right here would, of course, toenail in from the other side, and then you would nail it into the rafters um, on each side, probably three 16D nails. A ledger on this one here. The rafters can attach to the ledger. Ledger will nail to the studs. Rafters will toenail into the ledger. And, of course, the fire blocks I mentioned. Um, the other side here will be drywalled, this part of the wall. And then on the other side, it would... Uh, be drywalled also, but it's uh, fire blocks are there to prevent. Uh, let me go back there. Fire blocks are there to prevent the fire from drawing oxygen in or allowing the fire to run past something like this and accelerating the burn rate on the home. Here's the other block I was talking about. An engineer would love to see something like this again, shaped at the top to match the slope of the roof and um, toenailed, or nowadays you gotta put like 250 um, framing anchors on them. we are getting a little carried away with some of this stuff, but uh, nevertheless, this block right here, you could finish it, um, or, or you might need to put two blocks in here, a block like this for the engineer to keep him happy, and a block like we have on the other side to um, finish it and to give it a nice look to it. The second design here is uh, I removed the wall and put a post and a beam in here to support this. And this is another option, just kind of throwing some, something else out there. You would need some type of a footing. I have a round footing here. Of course, you could uh, always have a square or rectangular shaped footing. The post will support the beam. The beam will support the wall and the wall, of course, will support the rafters on the upper uh, area. So again, the rafters here could toenail into the um, beam here, support beam. And um, you could always use hangers on these too. And again, it all depends on what the engineer is going to want. But you can see right here where it's supporting it. And you could always put a post somewhere in the middle too. You know, a post that is um, going to be located somewhere in here will reduce the size of the beam here. For example, if you have a 16 foot beam and it's supporting this, you might need a six by 14, where if you put a post in the middle, you might need a four by 12 to give you an idea. So that would all depend on how it would calc out with an engineer. So anyway, I hope that helps. If it does, don't forget to hit the old thumbs up button. And uh, let me know that uh, you like these videos. Really getting some good feedback lately, and that is always greatly appreciated.